in the last lecture we briefly learned what is routing now in this lecture we are going to implement a simple routing for our node application so here we have our node application and in the address bar if i type root url and if i press enter we get this response and if i go ahead and if i type root url slash home there also we are getting the same response and if i type root url slash about there also we are getting the same response so no matter which url we type in the address bar we are always getting the same response from our node server and that's because of the way we have implemented our server so if i go to vs code here we are creating a server and to this create server method we are passing this callback function so whenever a new request will hit this server this callback function will be executed and from within this callback function we are returning this html response so basically no matter what url you type in the address bar whenever you make a request to localhost colon 8000 so basically to this url where we are hosting our node application so no matter which url you type here this callback function will be called and it is always going to return the same response here we are not checking what url the user has typed in the address bar we are always returning the same response for all urls and that's not the behavior we want for our node application here what i want is in the address bar if the user types root url or if he types root url slash home in that case i want to display the home page of my application if he types root url slash about in that case i want to display the about page of my node application and if he types root url slash contact in that case i want to display the contact page of my node application and to do that what we need to do is from our node application we need to pass this url and based on what the user has typed after this root url we want to send a different response if the user has typed root url slash home in that case we want to send a response for the home page if the user has typed root url slash about we want to send the response for the about page and if the user has typed root url slash contact we want to send the response for contact page and to achieve this we need to pass this url and we need to extract what the user has typed after the root url so how can we do that well whenever we are making a request to the server we are getting that request inside this request parameter and on this request parameter we have a property called url and that url property is going to store the value which the user has entered after the root url let's see that in action so from here from within this callback function i will remove all these logic we don't need it anymore and here i will create a variable i will call it path and to this i will assign request.url and here what i will do is whenever a new request will come to this server i am going to send a response for that i can use this response.int method and for the response i am going to send the value of this url property and we are storing that value in this path variable so i will send the value stored in this path variable as the response with this let's save the changes let's stop the server by pressing ctrl c and let's start it again and now let's go to the web page and here let me type the root url and let's press enter so when we have requested for the root url there the path is simply a slash now when i say root url slash home and if i press enter in that case the path is slash home that means this request.url it is returning slash home and we are assigning that slash home to this path variable in the same way if i say root url slash about in that case the request.url will return slash about so in this way we can get the value which the user has typed after the root url and based on that value we can return different responses so here let's go back to vs code and here before sending the response what i'm going to do is i'm going to check the value of this path variable so if the path is equal to slash that means if the user has typed the root url or if the path equal to slash home let's also convert this path to lowercase before checking it with that value okay 
So if the path is slash, that means if the user has typed root URL in the address bar, or if the path is slash home, that means user has typed root URL slash home in the address bar. In that case, we want to return a response saying that you are in home page. And to return a response, we can use this response object on that we can call this end method. And from here, for now, let's simply return a text response. Here, let's say you are in home page. Okay, then let's also check if the path is equal to about. If the path is slash about, in that case, we want to send a response saying that you are in about page. And finally, let's also check if the path is equal to slash contact. If the path is slash contact, in that case, we want to send a response saying that you are in contact page. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. Let's stop the server by pressing Ctrl C and let's start the server again. And let's go back to the web page. So now if I type root URL and if I press enter, you see we are getting this response. You are in home page. If I type root URL slash home, in that case also we are getting this response. You are in home page. But if I type root URL slash about and if I press enter, it says you are in about page. So now we are getting a different response for a different URL. If I type root URL slash contact, in that case, we should get this response. You are in contact page. So here in our node application, we have implemented a simple routing for root URL, for home page, for about page and for contact page. So here we are handling these four routes. Now, what if the user goes ahead and type a URL, which we are not handling using our route. So for example, what if the user types root URL slash products? If I press enter, you will notice that this spinner is continuously loading. We are not getting any response and this spinner is continuously loading. That's because in our node application, we are not handling this URL. We are not handling this slash products route. And since we are not handling that slash product routes, the server does not know what to do because here the server does not know what response it should send. And because of that, our application has hanged. This spinner is continuously loading. And to avoid such situation, what we need to do is we need to specify a fallback route, the route which will be called when none of the other routes can handle the URL which the user has entered in the address bar. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify a default else part. And from here, I will simply send a response saying that page not found. So here I will say error 404 page not found. All right, let's save the changes. Let's restart the server. And let's go to the web page. So now you will see for this route, for this URL localhost slash products, we see this response error 404 page not found. But if I go ahead and if I type root URL, in that case, we get this response. You are in home page. If I type root URL slash about, we get this response. You are in about page. But if I type root URL slash services, we are not handling this route, this slash services route from our node application. In that case, the default route should be called. And the default route is returning this response error 404 page not found. So in this lecture, we implemented a simple routing in our node application. And this route here is handling this root URL, the root URL slash home, root URL slash about and root URL slash contact. And if the user types any other URL in the address bar apart from these four routes, in that case, this default route will be called and it will return this response and that will be rendered in the web page. Now, instead of sending a text response, let's say we want to send an HTML response for each of these routes. Let's do that in our next lecture.